everybody, thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're gonna be talking about how to maintain or improve your proficiency with a firearm, whether that be a pistol or something else. And today we're gonna to be kind of looking at pistols only, but I'm going to be talking about a product that will generally kind of help you maintain or possibly even improve your proficiency in shooting accurately and shooting quickly as well. We're gonna be talking about the Mantis X10 Elite. Uh, this is a device that I reached out to Mantis to get a sample for. So full disclosure, they did send this to me for free. Um, I did not pay for this. I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent. And I actually think that this is a better way to provide you guys with content because I'm not obligated to sing its praises. I don't have any financial investment in it, so there's no emotional connection to it. So uh, I think that that is a better way to do things for you guys. And I just wanna be upfront and honest with you from the get-go. Now, one of the things that I have noticed over the last, I would say probably year to 18 months is even though I've been through a lot of training through various instructors, I have noticed that some of my accuracy has kind of diminished a little bit. Could be because of all the different types of pistols and firearms that I've been reviewing for you guys, or it could just be that I've developed training scars and that has now kind of manifested itself in what I've seen here recently. So that is one of the reasons why I wanted to get my hands on this product to take a look at it. I've been using it over the last month and I, I think that it is actually benefiting me uh, in improving my um, techniques, improving my accuracy and, and kind of giving me a little bit more feedback as to what is actually happening when I am drawing up and firing on target. Now, with that being said, is this perfect for everyone? Uh, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, I will say that uh, we always talk about the good with the bad in my reviews, so we're gonna get into that. So the big question is, what is the X10 Elite? Basically, it is a device that attaches to not only a pistol, but a rifle, shotgun, or even archery equipment, and I think that's pretty cool as well and it will give you feedback, instant feedback, especially during dry fire, as to what is happening when you break the trigger. You can use it for dry fire or live fire, but I prefer using it for dry fire because you don't necessarily get that instant feedback when you are you know, drawing, coming up on target, pulling the trigger, and seeing what's happening. You're just pulling the trigger and starting the process over again. Well, what happens if you are dipping or you're turning or uh, your wrist isn't as tight as it should be? This is going to give you that information through the app that you put on your smart device, whether it be a smartphone or a tablet. You can put that app on there. You can sync it up with this. It's super easy to set up. And then you can get to working not only on just kind of a free training scenario, but you can also do uh, timed drills, you can draw from your holster, and so on and so forth. So that is something I really, really did like about this. I found it extremely interesting, and uh, I have been kind of using it, like I said, over the last month. I'm going to go through a free training situation here to show you what it actually looks like with the information on my phone here and kind of give you a little bit of a sample. But before I get into that, what are some of the downsides to this? Uh, well, there's two major downsides to it right off the bat. Number one is the cost on this is going to be uh, a little bit of a stretch for some people. Um, this is obviously, you know, technology. Technology is usually pretty expensive when it first comes out. So this is gonna run a couple hundred bucks. And uh, while I do believe that it is well worth the cost, for a lot of people, it just may not be feasible for them. They may have to stretch their wallet a little bit uh, for maybe a Christmas present. Uh, hint, hint, Christmas is on the way. Or even like maybe a birthday or just a special occasion. Uh, that is one of the things that I do fully understand that uh, this may be cost prohibitive 
for some people and we should be sympathetic to that but the other aspect of it too is this is basically an addition to your firearm uh, especially if it's a pistol and you're wanting to get your pistol drawn from concealment and run some of the courses that they have on the app um, you know this works well with my LES concealment holster, not a problem. It is kind of loose in here, as you can see. It's gonna be moving around a little bit in my holster, unlike it would if I had the light in it. But if I were to switch this to my CZ P10C here, uh, review coming on this <laughs> pretty soon, if I can get it snapped in here. There we go. Uh, I do have a outside the waistband holster from Bravo Concealment. I cannot fit this in there. So I could not use this pistol drawing uh, from concealment or you know from outside the waistband using this holster. And that is an area that I would love to see Mantis improve on. Maybe team up with a holster manufacturer who could provide an inexpensive solution to, you know, a lot of the popular firearms out there, a CC P10C, the Smith & Wesson m and 9 the Glock 19, uh, Glock 17, so on and so forth. Some of the major popular brands that are out there produce a holster that they could bundle it with the package as well. And that would uh, seemingly provide a better value for a lot of people. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get started on a sample training uh, scenario that I have done. I've got it set up on my phone here as just kind of a open training um, setup and it just allows you just to do whatever you want. It doesn't have any type of timer or you're not drawing from concealment or anything like that. Uh, before we get into that, I do want to talk about safety real quick. First and foremost, you want to make sure that your firearm is unloaded. I have checked this three times prior to filming and now a fourth time. In addition to that, any type of ammunition that you use, say if you're using your carry firearm, should be removed from you and the room that you are training in as well. You don't want to Alec Baldwin yourself or someone else, but uh, realistically, uh, you want to make sure that you're completely separated from any type of ammunition so that you are safe as much as possible and then naturally follow the four major firearm uh, rules, safety rules, and so on and so forth. So um, let's get started. I'm going to hit start right here and I'm going to be looking at exactly what my um, phone is telling me and then I'll have it up on the screen here as well. So I'm going to move over just a little bit. I have a target pasted uh, off screen on the wall here so we should be good to go. Again, this is just a sample so you can kind of see what it is doing. So we're gonna start up and got the target. Good break. Got a 94, it says good shot. All right, let's go with number two. Another good break, 91.8, good shot. Now, this time I'm going to anticipate recoil. So I'm going to pretend that I'm going to dip the firearm right before recoil or right before it breaks. And that is a problem that I've had. So if we do that, I'm gonna start pulling on that trigger and squeeze, 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 and kind of push down on that. And it, you can see that I got a 69.6 on the Mantis and it says pushing forward, breaking wrist down. So it's giving you that feedback, right? Now, let's do a little bit too much trigger finger. I'm gonna really get that trigger finger into on the trigger. A lot of people shoot this way, but some people, it'll cause them to break to the right when you do that. So here we go. And it says tightening grip, 65.1. And then we go back to a standard trigger pull 92.9 good shot all right so it gives you that feedback as you're going along especially for dry fire purposes and that's something I really really do like in addition to that you can see this piece right here which is giving you that feedback but you can also get into a lot more information on another screen you swipe again and then you can actually watch where the front of the firearm is going and what it's doing right 
prior to the break of the trigger. So that's something I really do like. In addition to that, you're gonna get a lot more information as well as to what your body is doing, what your hands are doing while you're actually live firing. So that's something that I'll uh, look into in the future as well. I wanna review this product a little bit more and then actually get it out to the range and do more content for you guys in a live fire basis as well. But at the very first, I wanted to give you my initial impressions on this product and uh, let you guys decide whether or not this is right for you. Do you have any experience with this product? If you do, sound off in the comment section down below. If this is something that you are looking into, was this video helpful? Let me know as well. In addition to that, if you are the type of person that dry fires on a regular basis, gets to the range on a regular basis, have worked through some training scars, what have been some of the tips and tricks that has helped you as well? I would love to hear those down in the comment section because realistically, I'm not an expert. I'm not the world's best shooter out there. I'm just the dude trying to work through this whole scenario of personal protection and learning how to become better each and every single day. So with that being said, I really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for swinging by. Patreon crew, you guys are crushing it. Thank you again so much for everything that you guys do. Thank you for leaving your likes, your comments, your shares, all of that huge help. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Take care, guys. Talk to you later. Bye, y'all.